Do I hit the buttons? Okay, I do. I forgot it did that. <sighs> okay, so I forgot that did that. So now that's over. What's up, guys? My name is Matt, and welcome back to One Shot. So we actually left off in Nico going to bed for a little nap. And I was actually talking earlier in the last video how it's actually probably a way for the developers to be like, don't focus too much on the game. Um, so. We left Nico there, and what you actually just saw is like Nico's dreams. So that'll be a pattern too. Just kind of keep aware of that. Um, also, another thing to be aware of. I don't know if it's gonna be like this again, um, but when I was editing last time, I noticed it. Keep an eye on the border, because what I have right now is a slideshow um, wallpaper, and obviously, if the wallpaper is different. The outline is different. So for a sake of argument, right now I have a Rick and Morty outline and the um, window screen itself is light blue. So if you're seeing a light blue right now, that's why. And when it, and it's set like every minute to cycle. So that's why like every minute you see it changing. Um, let's see if it'll change again real quick. I know you're asking if I'm still there, Nico. Just one second, because I'm trying to explain something real quick. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know, Peace Among Worlds. For those Rick and Morty fans, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's actually a really nice background. I would show it, but Copyrights, copyrights, everybody don't like copyrights. I don't have a drink over here, god damn it. All right, all right, right now, so, it just changed. Right now I have um, Azrael as his, like, hyper-death form. Not completely the final one, but the one where you first fight him at. And the uh, window screen right now is yellow. So that's just a little example. I know I had to wait there for, like, a good minute. But just to show you guys what I'm talking about, just keep an eye on that. That's another tidbit. So... Let's get back into this. Yeah, Nico looks different. I don't know why. Almost looks like a TV screen. That's weird. I'll have to check the settings real quick. But anyways, Matception. Are you still there? Yes. Ah. I'm awake. I had a dream just now. I saw. You did? Whoa. I... I really thought I was back home. Oh, the sun back home. In my home world is in a light bulb. It's really big... It's a big ball of fire in the sky. I don't think I'd be able to hold it like I would do with the sun from your world. This ain't my world. Huh? This isn't the world I live in. Really? I guess not. If you're a god of this world, you wouldn't necessarily be in it. What's your home world called? It's a secret. I'll be honest with Nico, I'm not that mean. It's Earth. Earth? Like, the stuff on the ground? Wait, do you live underground? No. Ah, oh, neither do we. Put shoes and field mice and stuff, dear. Does your world have a sun? I can't tell you that. <laughs> yes, it's also a big ball of fire. Really? Wow. Can you hold it? I mean, if you really wanted to. That was a silly question, wasn't it? The sun in my home world is very bright. Warm, too. You saw it, right? But it goes away sometimes at night. Everyone, everything gets dark, kind of like how this world is now. But it's okay, because the sun always comes back the next day. That's good, don't you think? My world's like that, too. Ah! Do you sleep during the night? We go to sleep, usually. But some people stay up and use computers. I don't have to explain what they are, do I? There's a bunch of them in this world. Anyways, we should probably get going. When she... Uh, I don't know if Nico's still here or she. It's ambiguous. But when I first played this, it was... Um, it said, oh, people usually stay up and play computers. And I remember playing this on a <laughs> late at night. But anyways, I want to check something real quick. Um, colorblind mode is off. I just turn it back on. But that's weird. I don't know why Nico's like that. Huh. Have you talked to the head engineer yet? She says, oh, crap, I forgot how to do this. Oh, yes. 
Oh! That amber from the Glen. I can remember now. Activating tracking systems. Set course. Wait. This boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave some stuff behind of your possessions. Whoa. Well, I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore. Or this gas mask and gloves. That is acceptable. Onward we go. You see, you can tell it because Nico's like brown. You can see the brown in her, their hat and the uh, purple and, and like the hair and like the scarf. I don't know if it's purple or blue. It's a purpley blue. But you can see the yellow in their eyes, especially. I don't know why you can't see it now. Weird. Here's your stop, the Glen. Thank you. There should be a village to the north, but it's all I can recall. Oh, that's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a success. Uh, are you leaving? Yes. I must return to my station. But you'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. I still don't know what that is. It's such a short game, but it's so pretty. It's kind of a laggy, though. I don't know why. Explore real quick. It might be because of my changing screens. Possibility. All the goats. Get back here. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Oh, there he is. Oh, Jorge. Hello. I need someone to help me herd my rams. Oh, I can do that. I've seen some grown-ups do it back home. You kind of just push them around. Hmm. But you're, but you're carrying the sun. Oh. Wait, can't you just watch the sun for me? I cannot. I am but a simple shepherd. Uh, okay. Come back and hands are free. And you'll be rewarded if you can herd my rams. That's right, I remember what I have to do now. See, I haven't played this game in so long, it's just like, oh. Yeah, I have to do this. I love how Nico's walking and you can like you can't see it, but the um, footsteps they're walking, especially like on the wooden planks. It's like doo -doo 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 -doo. It's like a bass. Alula. Alula, where did you go? Inception, did you hear that? Alula. I think it's coming from the southeast of here. seen a little girl? She's a bit shorter than you, and... Wait, that's the sun! Are you our savior? Uh, yeah? Oh, my stars! Sorry for my rudeness. Uh, it's alright. Are you looking for someone? My little sister, she's been gone for three days now. I've been looking all over, but... What does she look like? Um, she's a little shorter than you. Long blue hair, two blue feathers at the top of her head. I'm sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. Where's the last place you saw her? Back inside the ruins. She said she was heading towards the forest, so I was waiting here now. I ran out of place to look. Of places to look. So let's check the ruins. I have to get how to get there. This way. Remember correctly. So there's vines blocking that. Go down this way. Yes. Yeah, because I 
can remember what I have to do next. Savior? I can't believe it. You're real. Yes? Are you alright? No. We should get to the village. Maybe we could... It's okay. It's okay. Too late for me. But... The sun. I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it in so long. Savior, if it's not too much trouble, could you lend me the sun for a while? I... Will it make you better? No. It will not save me. I just want to experience the sun one more time before I... Well... Oh. Would it be too selfish for me to ask? What should I do? Give her the sun. Here. Warm. I have almost forgotten. It's so warm. That's good, right? The vine should be gone now. I'm not afraid anymore. You can see how dark it is. You guys see how the thing change? I'll show you in a second. It seems I need to help you again. Nico will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need has fallen in the most easiest accessible place on your machine. Do you see it? Yeah, a little hard not to. You'll know what to do with it then. Alright, so I'll give you guys an idea. So I had Azriel, Pickle Rick. I do have a Pickle Rick Walsh paper, but you didn't see it. Sands, Papyrus, all them. Well, when they said it's the most easiest location, yeah, <laughs> kind of hard to miss. So now, gotta go back to the viney area that I was uh, going the really wrong way. This way. I knew what it was, but I still wanted to show you guys anyways. So, and it reminds you of down here. Oops, dummy. Stop it. Nico. You saved me. That's not what I was expecting for my wallpaper. Wait a second. Oh, dummy. You dope. Hang on a sec. Oh, okay, so just to show you guys, like, I didn't do that. That's what you <laughs> usually see. Uh, it's not always him, though, so don't worry about that. Put that back right about there. Right. You saved me. Thank you. I was trapped in there for so long. So you are Laura? You know my name? Wow, the Messiah really does know everything. Actually, yeah, I just met your brother earlier. Oh, right. Gosh. Calamus must be so worried. Can you take me to him? That was so weird. Why did I just glitch out? Hmm. Huh. Wait a minute. How did you know that I was, uh, the Messiah? I don't have the sun with me. Your eyes. Huh? You remind me of the sun. Oh. That's why you're a messiah, right? Well, I... A lot of people back in my home world have eyes like mine. Home world? 
from Yeah. I'm actually from another world, you see. In this place. In a place where the sun and sky are not a tower. Do you like this world too? I... Yeah. Yay! Calamus keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute. But that's okay. You're here now. You can make everything better. Yeah. Hopefully. Probably. Most likely. Now let's get back over here. So like I said, it's gonna be a short series. You'll see why in a minute. Or not in a minute, in the first three episodes. But after that, it'll be much faster. It'll be a lot different. Where is your bro bro? There he is. Glamis! Blodron, you're okay. Thank goodness. I was trapped inside this room and I was really scared. But then the Messiah saved me. Trapped? In the ruins? Yeah. There's weird stuff in the door. You know, the floating squares we see next to the ocean sometimes? The stuff you told me to stay away from? What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. I'm not hurt or anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. What is this square stuff exactly? Bad. Anything you touch just sort of gets messed up. Whenever you hear people saying as well as it's king, that's what they mean. Obviously, you should avoid them too. I will. Anyway, uh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister, Savior. Just call me Miko. Oh gosh, I would. It would be rude to call you by that name. No, would it not be rude to call you by that name? Huh? Why would it be? I mean, I was like a kid like you guys. Oh. Then, would you like to visit our home, Nico? Yes. Yay! Let's go. Oh, shoot. It looks like we can't get past this block. Seriously? I'll be up ahead. <laughs> Me too, Nico. Me too. I have literally never thought of that. You kind of get used to all the debris after living here for a while. Come on, our house isn't that far from here. So, uh, welcome to our home. It's kind of not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. Oh, my remote. Stop dying on me, remote. Stop! Can I not push buttons anymore? There we go. Ah, there it is. Here, we want you to have this. It's a feather. Oh, a feather. The edges are glowing yellow. It's a sacred feather from the great prophet. Oh? Yeah. She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark, and she can see in the future. What? Or something like that. She gave one of her feathers to father because she died. Before she died. I gave you my feather because I died. I'm dead. Father one that passes down as an heirloom, although it feels more fitting for you to have it. Uh, are you sure? Totally sure. I think that's what father would have wanted. Thank you. Now we go out here and explore. Hey! I saw you go into the courtyard. So I thought I'd tag along. Sam. So cute. They're little, little kids. It looks like it used to lead somewhere. 
Yeah, Secret Gardens. It's been a while since we went there. We don't have a way of getting there now, remember? There is no boat, and none of us can swim. And what's a Secret Grounds? It's where our people are buried. Sometimes we go there and visit Mom. Well, her grave anyways. Oh. Wait, how do you get there? I thought you said it, there isn't a boat. Oh, our friend helps us. He has some sort of machine that allows him to fly. Sometimes he takes us along. But like I was saying, we haven't seen him around for a while. I wonder when he'll be come back. I wish I could see go see Mom again. Come on, Laura, let's go back to the courtyard now. Okay. I don't understand why Nico looks so different. It's confusing me. So now that we've done this, let's fast travel to the village. Since my hands are free. And now we're gonna help out with the goats. Uh, rams, excuse me. That would be rude. Oh, I see your hands are free now. Would you like to help me herd my rams? There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Uh, sure. Excellent. To the south is a peninsula inhabited by my rams. They're all standing in unfortunate spots. You need to move them onto the dark moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell and you'll all return to their original positions. Good luck. I remember this taking me so long. So I'm actually going to change my settings so I have to walk instead of run. It's just easier. And that way. Oh crap, did I already screw up? I did not. I don't think so yet, anyways. One, two, three, four. There's five goats. And four. Well, technically four. I covered one up. Oh, I moved him already. Okay. We're good. I want to move this one. And then change my settings back to run. Proven a great service for all ram kind. In return, take this fine ram wool. Oh, uh, thanks. And now we trade it for this. Hey, uh, you here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make me an offer and I'll give you something in return. Hmm. Do we have something like that, Matsuption? Yes, we do. We have some wool. I think I have something I'd like to trade. You'll take wool, right? What can this wool get me? Wool, huh? That'll get you this fine vial of... I'm not sure what it is exactly. Some sort of fabric dye? How about it? Yes. I'll do it. Pleasure doing business. And now we need to not no. Not yet. We need, no, not yet. We need to travel back to the ruins to get the sun. Oh my god, it's dummy. Teleports to ruins. RA at ruins. Oops. Oh you dope, you're actually right there. Because like I said, I gotta get the sun back. 
The light's gone out. Conception. Do you know what happened? No. You really? But, but, oh, what am I gonna do? It lit up again. Phew. She's gone. Oh, there's something on the ground here. Looks like a kernel of corn. She must have left it behind. Alright, so now... Oh, I can't fast travel there. So now we're actually almost at the end of the lens, which is kind of sad. I don't remember. Because that kernel is important for an achievement, for those who are achievement hounds. Um, let's try to think. Because this chapter is actually kind of slow, and it's about half an hour recording. I might do part of the second one. I'm not sure. No, not the second one, the third one. So now we go over here. So up and around, talk to this dude. The sun. You're the messiah. Are you on your way to the tower? Mm-hmm. You can enter through the refuge, through the wall. You need to sign your name on the scroll first. Alright. Do you have a pen? Um... No. I've lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the glens for another. The struggle. Feather and die. Oh yeah, I can use a feather as a pen. I saw it in a picture book once. Inception, I'm too tired to go on right now. Please let me nap a bit somewhere. I remember seeing a room to the west. I think it might be a good place to take a rest. So... Out of the way. Okay. So, Nico will go to bed, and then we'll come back. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Of course. So, I'll hit yes, Nico will fall asleep, the game will shut down, and I'll be right back. Into another dream. Yes, welcome to Steam. I know. Get out of here. So much wheat. Inception, I had another dream. Did you see this one too? Yeah. There was a big field like the one in my last dream. And I saw my village. But then I woke up. Uh, I don't think this world has anything like that. I mean, big old wheat fields. The only big plants I've seen around here is a bunch of weird trees. And those balls of moss floating in the water. Wait, is moss even a plant? Yes? Say, have you seen a wheat field before, Matt Sanction? Yes, I have actually. In um, Pennsylvania. I was going to, um. Well, it's probably also corn too. But when I was actually looking around for colleges, I went to, um. I looked at. Pennsylvania University? Or Philadelphia University, excuse me. One of the two, I don't remember. It was near, um. We stayed near the uh, King of Prussia Mall, for those who might be curious. And I was passing by a bunch of corn fields and wheat fields and on our way to Gettysburg. And I just, it was so, it was wide open. If you imagine like tall grass, for those kind of like getting a picture, and just blowing in the wind, it's, it's so beautiful. So I have seen it before, yes. Oh, they're really pretty, aren't they? Indeed. The one around my village goes around for miles. So that's really tall. Sometimes I can't even see through them. When it's windy out, the wind can make waves in it. Exactly what I was talking about. It's like an ocean. A food! Oh wait, but there's food in regular oceans too. Like fish and crabs. I've not actually been to a real ocean until now, actually. I've been to- I live near an ocean. <laughs> I've been to the ocean. That's really cool, Matt Saffron. I've only seen it, the ocean on TV before. I never thought I'd get to ride a boat through one. The waters back home don't have glowy stuff like how it's here. 
here either. Uh, but I guess it's because this world is already so dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark night section. It's a little hard to imagine that now, after spending so much time here. But not long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. Me too, or it's good you got over that. Um... Honestly, same. Me too. Uh, <laughs> during the power outage. It's not because I am afraid of the dark. I literally could not see. Um... It was kind of like keeping your. I know. I don't know if you guys ever seen like those commercials of like those pe people who are like unfortunate they can't see, so they're blind. Um, but it's like twenty four. Something. It's I forget the technical name of it. But it's like they have a hard time sleeping, obviously because they can't see. So I kind of understood how that felt because when we had no power. Like, I have everything glowing. I have a uh, speaker. A little pill-sized sheep... Uh, pill-shaped speaker that flashes and glows. Um, when that died, that was like the last thing of light in my room. And... I closed my eyes, and obviously it's dark. Dark enough. And then I opened my eyes, and it still felt like my eyes were closed. It was just black. It was dark. So... That's the only reason why. Because it's just like... I can't go to sleep. I need sleep. Holy crap, I need sleep. I can't do this. Um, but when I was little, I used to be afraid of the dark. I used to be terrified. Um, but, I mean, I would say me too, but there's actually something really sweet if you say this. Um, it's good you got over that. I guess. Look at the little face! It's like a cat! I, I swear, they're a cat. They're a cat. I, they can, can I say they until... I figure out if Nico's a he or she. Um, I guess. Otherwise, I wouldn't last long here. Then again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. And also, I don't feel scared at all with you guiding me. So, thanks for that. Anyways, maybe we should head out now, Inception. Nico's so sweet. It's like a little, freaking tiny little cat. I found a pen, sort of. Good, please write your name here. Yay! Good luck. Oh no, witches! What in the world? Run! Run, my little Nico! Run! Death. Oh, I love the city. It's so beautiful. I guess it's because I'm so used to it, because I live near Boston. For those who are curious. Ah, the sun. Hello, Messiah. Welcome to the refuge. Do you understand what you must do here? I'm supposed to go inside the tower, right? I already see the tower, so I guess we must be close. Where's the entrance? On the surface. Surface? Look down, small one. Oh, we're pretty high up. I guess I gotta get down a lot of stairs. Or find an elevator. Correct. However, the tower is a sacred place. Finding the entrance may be easy. But that alone will not be enough. What do you mean? Once you reach the surface, I recommend visiting the library for leads. Alright. Thank you. Of course. Off you go, then. I wish you luck. I'm afraid Sarah's not going to you. Only the bear of the sacred kernel. Well, I have a seed. Oh, like the kernel of corn? I have this. It was left behind by a plant lady in the corn. That is indeed the kernel. Then it is your duty to regrow it. Do you understand what you must do? Yes. Good. You now pass through here to access the garden. Dirt in this pot. Looks seed really grow like this? Nope. So we're gonna be doing like a little side mission as well. And I'll 
I'll show you guys too what I mean with the next section. Because I gotta go here first. Come on! Come on! Work already! I was gonna run into. This is embarrassing. Uh, is is there uh, anything I can help you with? Oh jeez. Yes, please. I would like to know how to get to the surface. Yeah, I was afraid you were gonna say something like that. Right now, the elevator is the only way to access the surface. But yeah, just take a look. It looks like an elevator. Well, you're not wrong, but. Go look at the button panel. Panel. There's many buttons. Yep, that's the problem. There's usually a big button here that says ground on it. You know, because it takes you to the ground. But now it's been ripped out or something. I tried looking everywhere for it to no avail. Maybe it, it exploded. Do you think we'll make a new one? What? How? We'll figure it out. Oh, jeez, Rick. I'm not sure, sir. I'm sure about this. Oh, we. Oh, there's a bed. And he goes nap time. I think, if I remember correctly, I have to go down and sleep after fixing the button. But I don't remember. Locks from the inside. Uh, yes, okay. Nope. 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 Oh, that's right, the light. It's off. It's off. Good. Are you an intruder? Because if you are, I am model 8XM home security bot. T trademark. Serial number. Three nine, three nine two three two eight eight three nine W four. I will have to report you. Oh, sorry. I kind of just walked in because the door was unlocked. Do you want me to leave? Scanning for suspicious activity. Suspic suspicious activity detected. Zero. Well, I guess as long as I don't do anything bad, we'll just leave. Small potted plant. There's a pair of scissors on the ground. On a pile of hair. I don't think anyone's using them anymore, so. Ew. Hashtag manscaping. Okay. Big penguin plush. Hello, penguin. Hello. Me too. <laughs> Almost as creepy as the goat. My parents are like literally never home, but I don't mind. I'm used to it. Besides, I got model CWT second gen until 4E here to keep my company back. She still talks a little weird sometimes, but that's okay, she's lying. If I work hard, she might even be tame someday. I keep hearing that word. What, tame? Mm-hmm. Nobody's told me what it means yet. It's just a robot thing. I can't explain it either. Oh. Hello, would you like to play a game? Oh, sure. What game would you like to play? Hmm. Do you know rock, paper, scissors? Desire difficulty level? Huh? Desire duration of turns? Uh, please select your timer. Never mind. There's actually a difficulty mode for rock, paper, scissors. I don't know if you guys seen it. I would probably try to pull it up later. Or just put a post picture of it. <gasps> the goats! Hey. 
I just moved here from the Glen. Things are so different in the city. You've been to the Glen, right? Yeah. Everything's so green back there. I really miss it. My neighbor gave me some plants to cheer me up, but... I should probably get a muzzle for Betsy there. Oh, Betsy, you silly goose. <gasps> ooh, ooh. I'm not sure what this is. It's like a little car. You should ride on it. <laughs> what? Do it. Um. <laughs> I love this. How do I get off? How do I get off? Oh no, how do I get off? Well, that was fun. That was actually very terrifying. I didn't know how to get off. Here it is. Hello there. I have a, you have a lot of plants. I do. I grew them myself, you see? Feel free to ask me about them. Oh, you're a gardener, right? Yep. Do you happen to have any dirt? For growing plants, I mean. Yep. Do you need some? Yes. I'm supposed to plant the seed left by a plant lady. But the pot in the garden doesn't have any soil. I see. I know what you're talking about, yeah. Here, take this whole bag. Thanks! Do I need to come back to you for water? And that's the end of that. Okay, so that's easy enough. So now we go down here, and I'll complete the actual mission. Take these magnets. Fridge has magnets on it. Maybe they'll come in handy? Hope nobody will mind taking it. Let's take them. Hello, friendo. Hey there. Hello. You're the messiah? Mm-hmm. I like your scarf. Thank you. Mama made it for me. Tell her I like her needlework. Well, when I see her again. Mr. TV Man likes my needlework. It looks like I'm gonna this door. Now we can cut through it, so going that way. Do I need to water it? Oh, I don't know if I need to water it. Wait, was I supposed to grab the water? Wait. Okay, I don't have the bottle anymore. So I forget how to do that. Because I can't go back. I think it'll be okay. So, some dirt. I hope this will help you grow, grow a little seed. The seed's in the soil, but it looks a little bit dry. So I gotta talk to the guy again, huh? I can't fast travel. Not up here, anyways. So, that means. Uh, I don't remember. Alrighty. Good afternoon. Well, the time of the day doesn't really mean anything now. The sun gone. The night never seems to end. Then, how can you tell? Time I mean. I have my ways. The clock. Ooh, it's spoo- Ooh, yes, this is where I need to go. You're gonna need me this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out a strange transparent sheet. And now you take your handy dandy mouse and grab it to the void, which is off camera. Or well, more than off camera, off screen. Boom. Wait. Okay. 63014. Back right about. Eh, there. What did I say? 63014? Six three zero one four, and I believe again it's still randomly generated. So 
and it goes back. And this... Oh, it's off. This, this will be the second part. We need to do that ending. But you need to do a lot of different stuff, and it involves this as well. You'll see when I show you in a second. Well, not in a second. The next time. And time for a little quality time with Nico. Whoa. I've actually never been to a big city before. All these lights, all these people. I guess most of this world's population lives here. I love how they face you! Oh wait, no, yeah. Wait, do they do it? It's very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. You saw a bit of that in my dreams from a while ago. The tallest building in our village is only two stories tall. Oh, they do turn to you! This, I love this too, because they're like, they know. They know something. What about you, Matception? Where do you live? <sighs> it's not a village. And it's not a city. I've always had this debate, especially recently because of the power of so I was actually talking about my class and they're like, do you have power? And I said, no, we don't. This was, um, two, what's it? today is Friday, so it was Tuesday we were doing this. I had to cross out today anyways. And... They're like, oh yeah, most of the smaller towns, you know, they don't have, you know, they return power in like 24 hours. And I'm like, well, mine's kind of like a smallish town. And they're like, well, towns that don't have street lights, there are stoplights. And I'm like, ah, oh, that makes sense. Because mine's in a bigger town. See, that's the thing, I don't know if I consider a town a village. I guess those tiny, like really, really small towns. Um... I don't know, you guys can imagine, like, those places where it's just so small, and you're like... You can walk from, like, uh, border to border, from town to town. Uh, so it's not a city, it's not a village, some... I, um, it's technically not a city, and it's not a village, so someplace else, I guess. Something that isn't a city or a village? Like a ship? Well... Maybe not a ship. Can you imagine living in a city like this, though? I can't. I almost did. <laughs> Actually, I did, technically. Um, my other college, it was, um, it was actually, yeah, Rochester. Uh, it was, like, right on the Henrietta line. Going to Rochester. Rochester is a big city. I can't. It's kind of scary. But also really cool. It is really cool. I think that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's it. Oop. But yeah, this door will come in handy later. I'm not gonna open it though. Because I don't want to activate anything.
know, this tall guy came in here earlier saying the same thing. He asked me if I was in a button that says ground. He looks pretty stressed, so I wanted to cheer him up. I told him the only grounds I had today are copy grounds. I did forget something. So, how I went down. I can't, I can't fast travel. I'll get fast travels later, but I actually hit the ground level. I've got some over here. Oh no! It's time to spend it. It's bolted to the table. God damn it, my monk died. There we go. It's bolted to the table. Oh, we have to go to the rescue here. Wait. Plants in this world tend to grow in the land. Even if it's facing a flooding issue, it's still better conditions than the other two areas. Barren is well barren. The refuse say is barely enough ground to stand on, left alone to grow stuff. Or on a larger scale, it is. I mean. Oh no! Oh, you dummy! Okay. So, I was supposed to keep the bottle. Because I saw the bottle, and I think I saw the syringe when I was in the glen. So, I was supposed to take the water from there. Yeah, that's what I was supposed to do. God damn it. I can't. I goofed. I massively goofed. So, I guess right now, do this and this. Oh, maybe we can make a button out of this. I can cut out pieces and fold it into a rectangular shape. Just like arts and crafts. I don't think it's supposed to be this simple. They're very connected to the elevator. The magnets don't stick to aluminum, but you just fold the magnets under the edges. Hmm. Holds together, but just barely. I hope it's good enough. We need tape! In order to get tape, I need the tape. I understand why I don't have the tape. Talk to you. I am the power room mechanic. Do you have an issue with what? Yeah, actually. Service access elevator speed appears to be broken. There's a button missing, and uh, can you take a look? Leaving this room is not in my program. Never mind. Some kind of computer terminal. They are just bolted so people won't steal them. Feel free to use them. Oh, you dummy! Use this. Tape dispenser. Oh, of course. I gotta tape it together. It might fall apart. Good thing. Hurt my derp. I'm a dummy. Hope this works. Reactivating elevator surface services. Please input security code to continue. Whoa, what? That's never happened before. 
The squares? Huh? You saw them, right? They're on the door and... Oh, no, nah, that square stuff happens all the time. I mean the whole security code thing. But then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Hmm. Oh, wait. Hmm. I guess we should look for a code match section. Please input security code. Continue. Six, three, zero, one, four. What? It works. I didn't know what you did, but it actually works. Good, good job, kid. You're a genius. You, you know that. Well, I had help from Matception too. Oh, right. The whole Messiah business. Anyways, ready to go. I'll, I'll be up ahead. Hmm. I'm having trouble staying awake, Matception. You should find a place to take for me to take a nap. Of course, Nico, you little sleepy cat, you. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes, of course, Nico. And that is the end of this double episode. We got two areas down. Knocked it out of the park. Help Glenn people. I'm very salty, though, about that whole bottle thing. But, you know, whatever. It happens. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, definitely hit the that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And share this video to your friends so they can join in on the maps. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.